You've probably noticed that I'm doing less content about female nature and dating, and there's a reason for that. Let me explain. You shouldn't be focusing so heavily on women and your dating life. This is such an issue with most men in modern society. Because you're craving women, because you're probably not getting laid, you become desperate. And that desperation leads to bad decisions. Ultimately, you should be focusing on your body, your goals as a man, and your bank account. It is important. <laughs> Obviously, it's important how much money you earn, how financially successful you are. I'm not saying you need to be rich. I'm not saying you need to be a big business owner. Stop watching so much social media. When I jump on Instagram, all I see is like wealthy people, people on boats in Saint Tropez partying in the summer. It's like that shit doesn't help you be who you want to be. So you don't have to be wealthy or rich, but you want to be financially stable. You want to have a job that you like. You want to actually enjoy the team. You want to enjoy the people that you work with. You want to enjoy the industry that you're in. You want to have whether you are a business owner or you have a nine to five, which either or is absolutely fine. I advocate for both. I do not advocate for you to go and start a business. It's hard work, it is stressful. So if you have a job that you actually like with a team that you like, then you come back home and you manage to maybe hit the gym in the evening, or maybe you're managing to hit the gym at lunchtime, that would be optimal. So let's just say you're keeping fit, you're going to the gym and doing strength training three, four, hopefully about five times a week, which really helps you build the muscle. You're getting in good shape, you're eating clean during the week, you're happy with your team, you're making some level of progress at work. That, my friends, is true satisfaction. Then, once you have those core pillars, at that point, you can then be focusing on your dating life. Now, I would find it easier if I had a girlfriend, to be honest because she would help me focus on what was important. I'm kind of tired of chasing women. I'm in my mid-30s now. I've been chasing women since I was 14, 15 years old. I've had a hell of a lot of experience with really beautiful women. I've had lovely girlfriends, and I feel like I'm satisfied. You know, I'm not at the dinner table starving. I'm satisfied. I've tried all the dishes. I've had a lovely taster of them. Yes, of course, you could always eat more. And of course, there's always another dish which you haven't had but I'm truly satisfied on the dinner table. That's the kind of metaphor that I'd like to portray here. And so I'm happy to get up off that dinner table and go do another activity. You know, I've, I've had the experiences with, with amazing women. I've had a fun time. Now, where you might be going wrong is that you haven't had those experiences, so you're becoming quite desperate. And that's a scary place to be. Ultimately, I'm, I want to force down your throat that you should be focusing on your career and your business Okay, let's just call that one thing, right? Your career and business, your, your, what are you building? What, how are you making money? And it isn't just directly focused on money. Don't just pick the job because it pays the most. Pick it because you're satisfied. You're happy with the team and the industry. You're building up towards something. It, you aren't just purely focused on, I need to make as much money as possible. I did say in one of my previous videos that money is important. Yes, it is. But what is also key for you is to actually be satisfied at work because if you're satisfied at work, you're more likely to achieve and focus on your, your path. So if you're, in, if you're just focused on making money in a, in, in a career and you don't like your team, you're not gonna go very far. You might earn for a year, two, and then you'll get sick of it and you'll get burnout. But if you're actually in an industry that you like being in and you like your team and you like the role that you're in and you see the pathway to success and and this is a very important and, and you are working out, exercising, you have a hobby, you're cycling to work, you're strength training, I don't know, you like skateboarding, whatever hobby, make sure that hobby is a sport that's keeping you physically fit. I personally recommend weightlifting and going to the gym because you can get in good shape. It rounds off your muscles. You look good, you look like a man, and you feel like a man, and that's thoroughly important. So my friends, if you have a nine to five job and you're earning money and you're happy with that job and you're going to the gym and you're getting in better shape and you're noticing that you're actually eating healthy food during the week and you're allowed a cheat day on the weekend, a Saturday or a Sunday, you have a smash burger, you might have a pizza at your, at your favorite Italian restaurant 
Sure, you can do that. The balance is absolutely key. You go out on a Saturday night with your boys. You might have a couple of gin and tonics. That's okay. I don't advocate for monk mode. I don't advocate for don't go out ever. Don't drink any alcohol. Just focus on your work and be that gym bro. No, because that's boring. Those guys are actually losers. You want the balance in your life. T tonight I'm going out. There's this band, there's this DJ set called Who Made Who. I'm going to an amazing party tonight because I've worked this week. And so, and I've been to the gym three, four times a week and I've done some home workouts and I'm going to go to the gym again today. So yes, I'm going out tonight. So the balance is absolutely key. So going back to my original point is, I want you to be satisfied with your work. I want you to be satisfied with your body. I want you to be eating well and allowing those cheat days on the weekend. And then once you have those core pillars, you will then be more comfortable approaching women. They will be more, comf more comfortable matching with you, seeing that you are that type of guy. You want to be the guy that's attractive. You want to be who you want to attract. Think about what type of woman you want. You need to have her similar traits. You want her to be healthy. You want her to be fit. You want her to be attractive. You might want her to be ambitious. You might want her to be homely and family orientated and... and you know, maternal, then you should be similar. So if you portray that, then you're going to find that. You know, if you put yourself out in the universe in a certain way, the universe will repay you. That is something I have really, really noticed. You will get what you eventually deserve. But be that person first, that you love your job, you, you are in good shape, you're eating well, you're feeling good, you're keeping in touch with your friends and your family. And then the women will come to you then you'll feel more confident approaching women on the street, in clubs. Your dating profile will just look overall better. There'll be pictures of you doing your hobbies, pictures of you happy at work, in the gym, looking good, pictures of you with your dog, whatever it is you want to portray online, okay? People will start to see, and people are not stupid, they will start to see on your social media, you might post Instagram stories or Snapchat or whatever you use of the things that you're getting up to. Oh, look, I'm eating healthy. Oh, look, I'm going to the gym. Oh, look, we've just done this with our, in our company we've, and I'm, I'm getting a promotion soon. People will feel that energy. Women will stalk your social media. They know what you're up to. They love watching what you're up to. So put yourself in a good position in life and then you can not necessarily worry, but then you can advance in your dating life. If men are sitting there saying, I mean, this girl, that girl, this girl, that girl, dating, 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 if all you want is dating advice, then I'm not gonna be that person that's solely gonna offer you dating advice. I am a masculinity coach. I teach you how to be a man. I teach you how to be a successful man. That's what I've been doing my whole entire life. And therefore, I find it easy to attract women. It isn't a problem for me anymore because I have all those foundational characteristics because I've worked on myself and I am masculine. And that is the key, my friends. So don't solely focus on dating. Focus on the other important aspects of your life, which I've mentioned many times in this video. If you find this content useful, please like, it helps for the algorithm. Please share it with someone that you think really needs to hear this and subscribe to my channel for more information and content about how to improve your life as a man. Hope you enjoyed this video.